everyone, I'm Robert and I'm making another dinner for Egypt. Tonight it is one pan Mexican quino. I know it's not really pronounced that way. I know it's quinoa, but I like to say quino, so I say it the way I want to. Anyway. Just breaking all the rules, aren't I, you? I do, but I can't help it. So here are all of the ingredients. I've mise. What mise, is that? Mise in place, which means to make a French word which means you get all of your ingredients ready to go beforehand. This is all of them. I've kind of combined them all. So over here in the pan, one tablespoon olive oil. It's getting hot there. Probably shouldn't for your sauteing. So one tablespoon olive oil. And over here we have one medium onion chopped. The recipe calls for two bell peppers or two jalapenos chopped. I only had one bell pepper, so this is one bell pepper chopped and three jalapenos chopped because we like it kind of spicy. The recipe calls for one teaspoon cumin and a half teaspoon coriander because I like both of those spices. I doubled it, so this is two teaspoons cumin and one teaspoon coriander. Okay, the recipe calls for two cloves of garlic minced. I did not have any fresh garlic. I understand that it's the best to use fresh garlic, but I didn't. I have a jar of minced, so this is minced. Cheater. I am. Typically, one clove equals a half a teaspoon, but because the jar of garlic typically is not as flavorful, I went ahead and put two teaspoons. One cup of quino. This is tricolor quino and it is certified organic from the great state of Colorado. Ooh. More about Colorado quino in another video. One can of black beans. The recipe calls for one cup of fresh or frozen corn. I didn't have any of that. I did have a can. So the can of corn drained was one cup plus. So instead of throwing away or trying to refrigerate the leftover, I just used one can of corn. Fine. The recipe calls for a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, juice and all. I don't believe that they come in 15 ounce cans anymore. All the ones I have on my shelf are 14.5. Thank you, inflation and downsizing. <laughs> this one is a half teaspoon kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon black pepper. The recipe calls for one cup vegetable broth, but as you can tell, that's pretty dark stuff. So this is actually beef broth. I always use the powdered broth, which is two teaspoons of the powder to one cup of water. So that's what this is. We actually do have vegetable broth in cans, but that's way more than a cup. We use this uh, Orrington Farms broth base. It's two teaspoons of the broth to one cup of water. I like it. It's quite convenient and you don't have to really dissolve the, the cubes and stuff. And you don't waste broth if you only need a small bit amount of broth. You don't waste a whole can or a box. One quarter cup of cilantro chopped. I love cilantro. I love cilantro. I think he likes it, but I think, yeah, he loves it, but I really do love it. So this is way more than a quarter cup. I have a tendency when it's the spices and the ingredients we really enjoy, I have a tendency to put more of those in recipes. Okay, so this is all of the ingredients for one pan Mexican quino. And now I will show you how to make this wonderful dish. The first step is to put your onions, peppers, cumin, and coriander in a 12 inch skillet and cook for seven to eight minutes until the onions are translucent. You want to put the coriander and cumin in at this step and not wait because those two particular spices need uh, work. They interact well with an oil that really releases um, the intensity of the flavors of the spices. The next step is to put in your garlic and you're supposed to stir it in and cook for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you're going to add in the quino, black beans and corn, tomatoes, and salt and pepper. 
stir this in, get it all mixed up. Big old stir. Stir it real good. Bump, ba -dum, bump, bump. That looks delicious. That's nice and stirred in. Then you're going to pour in your broth. Stir it up, put the lid on, bring it to a boil, turn the heat down to low and simmer for 20 to 23 minutes or until all of the liquid is absorbed. The final step is to remove the pan from heat, let it sit for five minutes, stir in the chopped cilantro and serve with some toppings. Mine has a little bit of liquid in it, but I didn't want to overdo it on the thyme because I didn't want it to be really dry. Here is the final product, one pan Mexican Quino. It looks really good. It smells really good. The suggested toppings for this particular meal, sliced avocados, sliced limes, extra cilantro and radishes. So that's what we went with. And then over here I have some tortillas. Yeah. Add it to like a quino bowl with an egg on top, any sort of thing like that. And you know, quino is a really good superfood, South, um, South American origin in Peru. So now for the taste test. I just loves me some cilantro. Uh, a little bit of radish. Ding, ding, ding. And some avocados. Aguacate. All right, that's good stuff. Can you taste the jalapenos and all of that? I can. Okay, awesome. I taste, I taste everything. <clears throat> and just the right amount of heat maybe a little light for my taste because i like more heat i like quinoa i'm a fan of it if you've never had it it takes a little getting used to because it has a pretty unique kind of flavor for a you know for something in the cereals group um it's not really wheat flavored or anything like that it it just sort of has its own if it's cooked plainly and that's why I guess here in North America we like to cover this stuff up with a lot of spice and broth and flavorings and stuff like that because it has such a unique flavor. The flavor doesn't bother me, I kind of like it, but more than that, I think what some people don't like about it is the texture because it's almost like they're tiny little, uh, you know, just sort of like balloons that can sort of pop in your mouth as you chew on them a little bit. The little seeds can uh, pop. And uh, so it's a unique texture, but I like it. I love quinoa. I think it's cool. I got this recipe from a website called Foolproof Living. I made a couple of modifications to it, as you uh, saw. So anyway, I'll put a link to this recipe in the description.